Good morning. Let me present you today highlight of United States House passes bill to protect same-sex marriage in effort to come to a Supreme Court. The Democrat-led House of Representatives on Tuesday voted to pass a bill that would ensure protection for same-sex marriage into federal law. The partisan final vote was 267 to 157 with 47 Republicans joining with Democrats to vote with the bill. It's not clear, however, where the bill can pass the Senate, where at least 10 Democrats will need to join with Democrats to overcome the 460 vote threshold. UK breaks record for highest temperatures as Europe chisels. Britain shattered its record for highest temperatures ever registered Tuesday and a heat wave that has seared one of Europe. As the UK national weather forecast said, high are now part of life in country, ill prepared for such extreme. The tropical temperate nation was just the latest to be swallowed by unusual hot dry weather that has triggered wildfire from Portugal to the Brankin and led to hundreds of heated related dead images of flames racing towards a French beach and Breton shelt cutting. A company called Meta is suing Meta for naming its Meta. When Facebook changed its name to Meta in October, there were a few concerns that the company was planning to dominate in a certain Metaface, but there is no one existed but on no going public. An installation act company called Meta or Meta dot Ace is announced Tuesday that it will be suing Meta or Facebook for trademark violation, alleging that Zuckerberg Munem chain violated the smaller company's established brand. Rest to replace Boris Johnson down to three final contenders. The Fratias race to replace Boris Johnson as the pretend prime minister entered an predicted endgame. Tuesday has three candidates for Conservative Party who left to battle for the two slots in running of vote. Came about to privilege to Nolmaker, who was become a rising star of the Partland Wing, was eliminated from the contest after receiving 20 votes from Conservative lawmakers in the fourth round of voting. Netflix loses subscribers, subscribers, but stops the bleeding. Netflix reported Tuesday that it lost 970,000 subscribers in second quarter of 22, a number far lower than its first quarter, which was projected that the stream giant will lose 2 million subscribers. The company was say it will add more another million subscribers in a third quarter, a number that was slower than was less expectation, but investors was clear happy with the result, and Netflix shares jumped us 8% on Tuesday in after hours trading. Please subscribe for more headlines like this. Thank you.